Alana Goldstein. I am from New York, uh, from the suburbs of the city. I go to Lafayette College and I study English Literature and Religious Studies. And here at the University of Haifa, I'm taking classes in Literature, Religion, and obviously Hebrew. I'm really connected with my Jewishness. Uh, back in the States, I'm really involved in Hillel. And I was wrestling with going to Israel for a very long time. And then I settled upon the University of Haifa and Haifa in general because it's a very diverse place where people coexist um, compared to some of the other cities here and other programs I really wanted a full experience of what real life in Israel is like because other places are a bit more segregated but here everyone lives together works together eats together and I love that type of community here. One of my favorite little activities is to kind of sit on one of the Eged buses and just kind of people watch because you can just see how normal Haifans, whatever the word is, um, how they interact and how people talk to each other. I love going down to Bat Galim and sitting by the seaside at the sea plaza and watching the waves and watching the families and the kids there are really cute. Um, I also love going down to Masada Street and seeing all the art and just the cool hippiness of just that area. I also love uh, going hiking in Mount Harkama Park across the street from the university. A few of my friends are really big hikers, so they like doing really adventurous and crazy things. I, we may or may not have walked alongside the quarry, which was a little dangerous in retrospect, but it was a lot of fun. Um, and I'm becoming a lot more of an outdoorsy person because of living here and just hiking a lot. It's so hard to decide what I love most about the academic program. I'm taking really great classes right now. Um, one of which is called Women in Israel. It's a women's and gender studies class about women in Israel. And prior to the semester, I hadn't had the opportunity to take a women's and gender studies class. And I really had wanted to, you know, if I could go back in college, maybe I would major in it. But here with Professor Carmel Hakim, it's so fascinating and she's so energized. And I love just learning about women who have unfortunately been erased or at least forgotten from Israeli history, and it's so important to learn about them. I also love my class, Israel Stories, but, uh, by Professor uh, Dr. Sivan, and we're talking about Israeli literature, as well as films and uh, theater, and I haven't really explored that facet of literature yet, even as a Jewish person who I, I try to read a lot of Jewish literature, but Jewish literature isn't the same thing as Israeli literature and she's exposed us to a lot and I just love what we're reading and I might want to do my thesis in Israeli literature when I go back to the States. My plans for the future, that's a very loaded question because I have so much that I want to do. I eventually would love to teach. I work a lot with children with dis learning disabilities so I would love to help them and empower them. I also would love to be an English teacher. I would love to be someone's crazy stereotypical high school English teacher and really make people love books because I've had so many educators that have made me love reading and love writing. I also would love to write, um, whether it's for a newspaper, I'm not sure if I want to go into journalism just yet. Um, sometimes I also toy with the idea of being a rabbi and I would also love to get involved in community activism, especially for the disabled. And at the end of the day I really want to have a bookstore too. So I have a lot of dreams, hopefully a lot of time. Haifa, I think, has made me realize what I want to do and what I don't want to do. So whether I want to incorporate my faith into my career and how I want to empower other people through faith and through community. Um, so, so far, the University of Haifa has made me do a lot of thinking about my, my own identity and how I can use my own identity to help others.